And stop feeling guilty. Why one psychologist says not being able to make some of your kids' events and games can actually be good for the kids. Good day, everyone. A lot of mamas sitting back with their glass this morning, glass of wine, saying, I can miss my child's recital. <laughs> right. Let me relax a little bit. We'll break down the healthy balance coming up in just a moment. There's so many different things. There's football practice, ballet recital. Uh, where do I go? How do I divide my time? It's got to be hard to make Psychologist is in to tell us exactly how to do it. Parents often feel guilty if they can't make their child's sporting events or performances because they say something comes up or work happens or some other obligation. But psychologists say your absence can actually be a good learning experience for your child. Yeah, how do you manage all that? Well, let's bring in Dr. Eileen Kennedy Moore, a clinical psychologist and author of Growing Friendships, A Kid's Guide to Making and Keeping Friends. Good to have you with us. Thank you. It's nice to be here. <laughs> this is going to be a sigh of relief for a lot of parents this morning because they're, they're juggling so much. They really are. So you shouldn't feel that bad, I guess, if you miss your child's event? Well, we want to go to those events when we can. They're watching their big game or mm -hmm. their little concert where they sing songs about recycling. I mean, that's adorable. Of course we want to be there for that. But sometimes life gets in the way. Maybe it's a work obligation or maybe it's a sibling with a fever. It's something unpredictable. And the good news is that your kid is not scarred for life if you miss a big event. So what should you do? Should you tell them if you can ahead of time, look, mommy's not going to be there and see their reaction, engage it from there? Sure, we can tell them in advance if we know. Sometimes we don't know. Uh, but I think we can also tell ourselves that there's an upside. There are some silver linings for when we do have to miss the big event. One silver lining is that it helps kids learn that they're strong enough to handle disappointment. This is annoying, it's upsetting if they're counting on us being there, mm -hmm. but the event will go on and it's a life skill to learn that we can enjoy an event even if it doesn't go off exactly the way so we want it. So you're saying missing an event or two is actually good for your children? It builds resilience, it does. The other thing that can be a, a side benefit of missing an event, and I don't think we should be casual about just blowing off their events, but when it's unavoidable, is it also helps kids to own the experience from about eight age nine onward, children need to do activities because they care about it, not just because a parent will be pleased if they mm -hmm. do it. So when parents take that step backwards, kids can step forward and say, this is my thing. And that's what leads to the internal motivation that sustains effort. Okay. Well, what if as a parent you miss something and you let them know about it, but you still feel bad? You want to, like, hey, maybe I'll take them out for ice cream. Maybe we'll get them that toy they've been asking for. Well, I think we need to be careful there because we don't want to dump our guilt on our kids. If we're begging for forgiveness and apologizing again and again and saying, how can I ever make this up to you? It puts the focus on us rather than them. And it also sends the message to our kids, you should be devastated by this. Mm -hmm. That's not healthy. Well, what about if your child is devastated? I know it's kind of easy sometimes to just sit your child down and say, mommy, daddy will miss your event. And here's the reason why. What if your child is, is giving you kind of that guilt trip? It's, you know, I'm disappointed, mommy and daddy. What do you say? How do you manage Me that too. guilt? Me yeah. too. I'm disappointed too. I would love to watch it. And then talk about a way to share it afterwards. So everybody's got phones. You can right. easily record it, get a friend or a relative to record it, and then make a, a, an event out of watching it together. Or just say, I can't wait to hear all about it and talk about it afterwards. Okay. Good advice. Then you'll be like me years later when I still make my parents feel guilty. <laughs> you do that? It's my one ammunition I have. But it's very good advice, doctor. Good to see Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it.